Hi, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be using my new freebie. It's the Watercolor Flower Pairing Guide. And in this guide, I've put together five popular flowers and then I've given you suggestions on what to pair with those flowers. So this is perfect for when you're stumped to know what to put with your flowers in your compositions. And today I'm going to use the daisy page and paint a composition. So daisies are going to be my focal flower and then I'm going to choose two to three flowers to pair with that in my composition. I'm going to start by just placing my focal flower. And I'm going to mix up the color just a little bit. You definitely don't need to stick with the colors that I've suggested here. And I should mention, if you want to get your own copy, uh, you can grab that on my website snowberrydesignco.com forward slash now, or I will leave a link in the description box below. Now, I know that daisies don't come in blue, <laughs> but this is where I'm taking some creative liberties. All right, so now I've got those in place, I'm going to choose my other filler flowers to go ahead and fill in with. And I really like the idea of pairing some ranunculus in here with, with my daisy. So that's what I'm gonna do next. We're gonna make those yellow. I'm just using whatever was already mixed on my palette. If you're interested in the colors that I have on my palette, I will leave a link in the description box below. Uh, you can go check out my Amazon store where I have all of the colors listed. I'm using Arches cold press paper 
and then my Princeton Velvet Touch round size 10 brush. All right, now I've got those in place, I'm gonna choose another couple of flowers. Well, let's see, I'm gonna do lavender for my next flower. You see how I'm really working to get this paint up? I forgot to squirt down my paints. given my paints a second to soak in. See, I'm having a much easier time picking that up. This is cobalt violet. I really like this, this color. Alright, now that I've got that in place, I'm going to start working in my greens. So I'm changing up the color of that Dusty Miller. It's more just going to be a ruffled leaf.
kind of went a little leaf happy on the top and bottom. I'm just going to add a couple more, oops, over here. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> we'll just cover that right up. So now some of these flowers are dry. I'm going to go in and add some more details to help kind of help finish those off. See, I didn't wait for that leaf to dry. I didn't even check to see if it was dry. So that's why I've got this bleeding happening, but I'm just going to leave it. And then once it's totally dry, I can go over and add a sharper line. Okay, and there you go. If you are interested in downloading this free guide, Again, go to snowberrydesignco.com forward slash now and you'll see the link to be able to download it. Hope you have a great day. Thanks again for watching. Bye.